Well, the next shaft into the box is the lay shaft. Now, the lay shaft is the hollow shaft that the um, shaft that goes back onto your PDO housing and all your PDO and your hydraulic pump go onto. So, we have a front bearing. Now, you have the front oil seal housing here. You have a wall in the middle of the gearbox. That's where that bearing goes. This gear here sits up on there, held on with a snap ring, and um, to get this shaft ready for assembly, there's a couple of things we have to do. Now this bearing goes on back that way with the circlip at the back of the housing holding it from moving, and then with the other gears in place and the uh, other housing, I think it's the um, the epicycle housing coming up against that bearing, that stops it from moving. So, so we take our third gear, second gear and that off. Now to get this shaft ready for assembly, we have to pop over to the press, press this bearing off. Now this bearing comes off that way, pretty self-explanatory, you can't get it through the teeth. And there's a needle bearing in through here. Now this needle bearing, it supports your PDO and hydraulic pump drive shaft. It just, where it sits in the bearing housing out the front here, this is your back support. So what I'll do, I'll go to the press, I'll press this off. I probably won't film that. Um, I've got the camera all set up over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm dodging, shifting it around so much if I can. Um, by the time you get light and that's gone, half an hour, an hour's gone, you still haven't done anything. So, so we need to do that. I'll grab a, a um, screwdriver and we can knock that needle bearing out the back. Just going to use a, a pry bar here. And we should be able to poke that up the back here. Catch the, catch the lip on the bearing here. And get him out. Um, This might be something I'll do over on the bench. Well, I've got the needle bearing out of this end here, and we have a new Sparex one. The Sparex number's S40761. Now, with these needle bearings, you'll notice one side has a number written on it, and the other side doesn't. And this side is slightly more curved than the flat side with the numbers. Now, you always press on the numbers side. Now, there's a little shoulder in there, you take it down till it just touches or you'll see a little chamfer here. There's a tiny chamfer to help let the needle bearing in. It has to be just below that chamfer, just so that the bearing has full support, all the needles are supported. Now, on this other end, the bearing is a S 40757 or a 6211ZZ. Now the original bearing was only shielded on one side. The new bearing is shielded on both sides. That's fine. There's no problem there at all. That'll last a million years like that. You can pop this out if you choose to and let the oil lubricate it. Um, look, it's up to you. But I'll go and press this bearing on. And this bearing here, I'll be pressing it, I'll be pressing on the number side and I'll probably get a little socket or something and just put it in just till it's below that top surface there or below the chamfer and I'll wash all this up first again and then we'll fit some bearings and come back. Okay we've got the bearings all fitted and um, I actually did take the tin shield off this side I thought, oh, well, it was like that, and perhaps it was something I didn't know. But what I would like to do at this stage is this circlip here, or snap ring. I'd like to loosen that and bring it up into this gap here. Oh, <laughs> this bloody thing. There we go. Alright, there's a reason for that I'll show you a bit later on. Now, we'll take all this off the top and we'll actually hop down into the gearbox and see what we're doing from there. 
get rid of a few of these things onto the stand just for the moment. The stand got a wash when the gearbox got a wash, so everything's nice and clean. Okay. So I'll swing this around so hopefully you can see it. And I might bring the light stand across as well. Okay, I think that's about as good as we can get for that without having the without having the light stand come across in the screen. Anyway, look, we'll have a go at that. Now, what we need to do with this bottom shaft is we need to bring him up and in. We have to give him a wiggle through the front bearing. And we need to put a couple of gears on as we're coming on. And we need to bring this bearing here back to this webbing here. So I'll, I'll actually do something okay. I'll just bump him up there from the bell housing. I've never got to lay down to, <laughs> to get and do it so the camera can see what's happening. So anyway. Bring the shaft through. We'll just bump him up a little bit further. Okay. That's about as far as we can go for the moment. Now, the bearing for here, we should be able to pop that on. I can't really see that tangle, I'll try. So what the idea is, is just to get it up far enough so we can just tap that bearing on a little bit. I'll just pick you up a little. We just want to You can see the snap ring groove there now. So now we can bring this bearing back down.
and I might pop that tin cover out. Okay, now with the shaft placed at the bottom there, we can bring this gear back. We can bring this fella back. This front gear, we can slide on. And we can put these snap rings on again now. So if I bring this one back a little. That gives me plenty of snap ring room for this fella. Okay, that's that snap ring in. Now this front one. I'll just check that's the right one for there. Right, now this has the big fat one up here. You can see this side here went to the gear. You can see the wear mark, the witness mark there. Make sure you have glasses on doing this, these things will jump a mile to grab you. You can hear that's going home nicely. That one's going home nicely. And we'll bump the shaft back. Just to make sure it's right home. Now this last snap ring for the back here. I've got to just tap that bearing forward once more. On the back of the shaft. What can you see there? You can't see a bloody thing. Should be able to roll, roll you around there. Now this bearing here, we just need to give him just a little tap once more, just so that grooves in the right spot. Right. See that wants to go in there now. Okay. 
surely that'll be enough. Now I have to make sure that's in properly. That's looking good there. Now we'll get a bit of grease and I usually like to pack a heap of grease around here just in case those a couple of needle bearings want to hang down and get caught later. Okay, I've got a bit of grease here. Notice this is a bit thicker. I'll make sure there's plenty on that bearing and I'll make sure all the needles are pushed out as wide as they can go. So that should be okay for that. So are white. New bearing here, that turns nicely. I'll come around again. And just check all our snap rings. You can see this one's right down in low as far as it can go. We have the leading on the teeth here. There's a gear that comes up and back that locks in there and we can also see that this front circlip there is um, it's right to go too well right, right to go it's in I can see it's sitting right at the bottom so there you go that's fitting our lay shaft so we fitted the reverse idler first which is this fella here now we've done the lay shaft with the hollow drive shaft. So we'll get ready and we'll have a look at fitting the main shaft now. 